So do you think you can get Milky Way in a Bortle 5 Sky? Well, you're about to find out. Hey everybody, it is Justin again with JM Naturescapes. I am here just after one of my classroom workshops with a friend, Carlton, and we are gonna be doing some Milky Way photography at Grand Haven State Park. I am actually planning a composite. I wanna try a 50 millimeter and a 28 millimeter composite with the lighthouse and the station that's behind the lighthouse. So I'm gonna take some photos here at the beach on the south side parking lot right over the beach and then I'm gonna drive around to the north side parking lot and then get that composition of just the lighthouse uh, the lighthouse and the station uh, for the foreground so I'm gonna take some track shots I'm hoping to get about 15 minutes on both lenses and I'm gonna take my foreground shots as well and call it good for the night my friend Carlton has a crop sensor camera so we're gonna have a cool experiment to see how his shots are versus how my shots are Let's see how that works out. All right, so we are all set up here at the beach and we're gonna go ahead and get started taking our shots. Cool, man, so this is Carlton. Carlton came out to Grand Haven with me, obviously, that's what I was talking about earlier. So what do you think, man? That's been great. I've learned a lot uh, from the workshop coming out here tonight. Um, I'm really looking forward to you know going back seeing the results of these pictures, I knew them, yeah. um, but it's been a lot of fun. So. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. And Grand Haven State Park is, I mean, it's beautiful. It is Bortle 5, so I think that these shots are actually gonna be a little bit more challenging to edit to normal, so you got your hands full. Yes. But I think that it's gonna be pretty cool, and I'm super excited to see your results. Absolutely. Sweet. So we are actually gonna go back to the fisherman's lot way back there, and we're gonna go get our foreground shots. So we'll see you when we get there. All right, so we are all wrapped up. As you can see, we are now here at the other side of the lighthouse and we've acquired our foreground shots. And I'm gonna show you just how tricky this particular place is. This photo that I'm gonna pop up right here is actually using the exact same settings, technically one stop darker than I was using for the track shots that I was using uh, for the Milky Way on the opposite side of this kind of pier of lights here. These lights really blow out your shot and the reflection of the water make it extremely challenging to get both the Milky Way and the sky in the same shot as uh, this pier here. So that's why I recommend doing a composite to get the best image of the two together and just make it easier on yourself. Just hop on over here and take your foreground and just take your sky on the other side. So thanks again for tuning into this video and I hope you enjoy these composites of the both 50 millimeter and the 28 millimeter and I am gonna throw in Carlton's shots here as well. So thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.